Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to connect to your iPhone or Android to your Windows computer using Intel's Unison application. We're gonna show you how to download and install the Unison application, and we're also gonna show you how to connect your phone to it and how to use your phone with it. We've done similar videos in the past with the Windows iPhone link feature, but a lot of people prefer this application to that. Before we get started with the video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave those links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so we're on the Windows 11 desktop here. Let's go ahead and get the Microsoft Store open. And once we're inside of here, let's just search for Unison. And here we can see Intel Unison is completely free. Let's click Get, and let's go ahead and wait for that to download. All right, from here, I'm going to click Open. And we need to accept and agree the terms. And then for this, I will select Don't Allow, but this is totally up to you. And for now, we're gonna start with adding our phone. So we could also add a tablet, but again, for this tutorial, let's click add your phone. All right, guys, so I'm here on my iPhone. I've still got the Windows computer pulled up and I'll have them showing side by side. Once I'm on my phone here, I'm gonna to go to the App Store. And once we're in the App Store, we're gonna search in the bottom right and we're gonna search for Unison. Okay, so once we see Intel Unison, let's click Get and we'll double click to install. It's gonna want Face ID to confirm. And then after that, it wants us to use the Unison app to go ahead and scan that QR code. So let's open this up. Let's accept and continue again. I will also select don't allow here and I'll hit let's go. Here we need to hit continue. We want it to allow permissions for everything. All right, and then here I'm gonna share all contacts. I'm going to allow full access on this. And again, I will hit allow for this. Okay, allow again. And now I'm prompted to scan the QR code. I'm gonna hit allow on the camera. And let's go ahead and get that QR code in view. And there we see, all right, we're gonna match these codes. Just make sure that it's the same on your phone and on your computer. Let's hit confirm. All right, and here I'm actually prompted to change my Bluetooth settings. So I'm gonna go to settings here. I'm gonna click I next to my computer and I wanna click share system notifications. Make sure that's on. All right, and we'll hit done. Okay, and once I'm in messages, I'm gonna compose a new message and I'm gonna send this message to Indigo Software. I just made up this contact for demonstration purposes and I can type a message. All right, and then I'm gonna add an emoji. And all within here, I can basically answer my texts or even make a call and I don't have to actually pick up my phone, which is really nice if you're already in a workflow and you don't wanna to have to divert your attention. All right, and then here we have calls where we can go ahead and make calls to our contacts. We also have notifications that will appear and another cool feature of Unison is we have transfer files. So let's say I wanna go ahead and get some files over to my phone. I'm gonna pull up my file explorer here. And let's say I want this picture on my phone. I'm gonna drag and drop. And we'll see it loading here. All right, and then if I go to photos on my phone, my most recent picture, as we can see here, is the one that I just transferred over from my PC. So if I double click this again, this picture I just transferred. And this is a picture of my dog when he was recording the Indigo software videos for me. Okay, and then lastly, we have access to our phone's gallery where we can see our photos directly from our computer. This one's gonna take a while for me to load, so I won't actually show you guys this now, but just know that we have access to our photo gallery. So again, we have file transfer, gallery, messages, calls, and notifications. And then additionally, we can also add a tablet here. So we can add another device and we could switch between. So, so we can manage our mobile devices all from within this app. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we went over, feel free to drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If there's a video that you'd like to see us make, please let us know in the comments below. And most of these requests actually get made into videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.